Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to create a very simple yet an interesting looking twisting text animation inside of After Effects using some very very simple steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and let's start by creating a new composition. I'll call this tutorial. For the size, I'll keep it though I'll keep the width to 150 and the height to 300 pixels, frame rate at 30 fps and the duration will be 3 seconds long is good enough. Hit OK. So here we have our comp Let's select the text tool and type in the text that we want. Now basically we will be creating in one composition we will be creating just one letter and then later on we can duplicate the comp and create our remaining letters depending on what word that you want to type. So in my case I'm going to type typography so I'm going to type in T that is my first letter. Let's align it into the center. Also we need to move the anchor point at the bottom. And the easiest way to do that is turn on the snapping, select the anchor point tool and then snap it at the bottom or if you have the move anchor point script you can just click on this icon and it's gonna work but in case if you don't you can just use the anchor point move anchor point tool and turn on the snapping. So here we have the T letter. Let's make it 3D and right click create a new null object. Now as you can see the anchor point is not into the center of a null object. So you can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool and that should make the move the anchor point into the center and then I can align it, align the anchor point in the center and if you don't see this align tab you can go into windows and there you will find it. So that's that let's rename this null object to rot for rotation make it 3d as well and then I can switch to my left view select the T and move this right over here just like that I'm gonna select it hit control D to duplicate it hit R to bring down the rotation properties and rotate the X rotation just like so to around minus 90 degrees and move this at the top just like so and then you can type in your second letter you can of course type in anything that you want so I'm gonna type in let's say let's type in K actually let's make the first letter C so I'm type in C select the K hit control D to duplicate it I'll call this T that is our main alphabet so I can change the color so that just you know you can identify the main letter and then I can move this right over here and rotate it by I guess minus 180 degrees just like so. Now as you can see the anchor point the null object actually is not into the center of the three layers. So what we can do is I can select this and just try to eyeball and place it into the center. If you want you can be very precise by hitting Control R on the keyboard and dragging a ruler just like so. And then selecting these three layers and then moving accordingly. So hit Control R to hide the rulers and hide the guide as well. That is looking great. I'm going to select this and move this a bit down just like so. Alright, so that is looking great. Let's switch back to our active camera and you can see we have something. Select the P to bring down the position of the null object and push this back but nothing is going to affect because we need to parent them. So I can select all the three letters and parent this to the null object and move the position back just like so. I think let's make it 45. Okay. So now if I rotate the null object, you can see our alphabets 
rotate accordingly. So I'll go to 2 seconds, move this to 180 degrees or rotate it to 180 degrees, create a keyframe on the X rotation, go back and set this to 0. So basically we have a simple rotation just like that. Let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease the keyframes. Go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the left just like so. So now we have a smooth rotation. Nice and simple. Pretty cool. Now what I can do is let's hide the T and the K. We just need to see the C. Let's rotate this just like maybe minus 90. All right. So I'll move forward until the time I don't see the C alphabet. That is, I'm hardly able to see it when it's flat to the, on the top. Select the C layer and hit Alt plus open square bracket. So now you can see we just need the C just like that. Let it go and right over here when it's hardly visible. I'm going to hold Alt and close square bracket. Now we can turn on the K layer. So let's go right over here when the K is hardly visible. Select it, hold Alt and open square bracket. And now we have something like this. Let it go when it's hardly visible. Hold Alt and close square bracket again. And same for the T. When the T is hardly visible right over here. I'm going to go one frame forward I think. And hold Alt and open square bracket. And now we should have something like this. Pretty simple and easy. So now we have something like this this which looks very simple. Let's select the layers, turn on motion blur for them and let's see what we get. Yep, that is looking pretty good. Now if you want, you can adjust the alphabets in case your motion blur is not looking proper. But in, in our case, it's working absolutely great. So now we have created a T alphabet and using the same technique, I can just, you know, select the comp. Let's call it T, duplicate it, go into T2 and you can type in the second letter. So in typography, so T Y, so I can type in Y. And using the same technique, you can create your complete text. So right over here, you can see, have used the same technique and created the complete text animation so what you need to do is so after you create all your alphabets what you need to do is just drag them into the composition you know position them accordingly so you can just you know position them however you want and then select them just align them just like that and then displace them by three or five frames just to give a nice look now I'm doing this very randomly but there is a much quicker way to do it so you get something like that now the quicker way or the easier way to do it very precisely is let's go to three frames select all the layers hold alt and close square bracket to crop them up make sure you select the T hold shift select the Y that is the last letter go into animation keyframe assistance and sequence layer hit OK and then drag them out just like so so you have a proper displacement. You can also add some colors and, and there you have your cool text animation. So that was a really quick and easy tutorial for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see the style looks very cool and you can create your own custom typeface or your own custom title animations using this technique. And if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.